Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to take charge of your fast-paced environment and utilize technology to keep up with your fast-paced life. So the materials you're going to need are a sewing machine, a spool of thread, a spool pin, your bobbin, a pair of scissors, and whatever material you're going to use, but I'm just going to use paper to demonstrate stitches. Um, where you'll get your spool pin and your bobbin from is actually attached to the machine. So it's this portion right here that comes out. So you're going to take your spool of thread and place it on the spool holder. And you're going to take your large spool pin and place it on the end to secure it. Then you're going to take your thread and wind it around following the guides. And go around the bobbin winder counterclockwise. Then you are going to thread from underneath through the top of the bobbin. If it'll cooperate, yay. Okay. And then you're going to place your bobbin on the spindle and click it to the right to secure it. So you're going to want to make sure that your machine is in the on position and you're holding the thread when you press your pedal. So turn off your machine and then you're going to click your, bobbin, your spindle to the left and cut your thread. And now you have a wound bobbin. Okay, so now that you've wound your bobbin, you're going to want to insert it into the bottom of the machine. So you're going to open the hinged cover and remove the case by lifting the tab and pulling it out. Then you're going to take your threaded bobbin and put it inside so that the string is facing towards you. And you're going to slide it into the slit and down past here and up so that it is inside. Then you're going to turn and reinsert your bobbin so that it clicks and close the hinge. Now that you've inserted your bobbin, you're ready to thread the upper thread of your machine. So you're going to take your thread and bring it around following the numbered guides at the top of the machine. So it's going to come around here and down and you're going to hook it and come up to the right of this metal piece and you're going to come around it and back down and then through here so that it's in like that. So now comes the super fun part of threading your needle. So a good way to start is to cut your thread so that there's no frayed pieces. And to get real close and personal and try to get it through the hole. There we go. And you're going to pull it through about six inches behind your machine and let it drape. So now we're going to catch the bottom thread. So what you do for this is you're going to hold the thread gently with your left hand and your right hand is going to turn this wheel towards you so that the needle drops down and comes back up. So to pick up the thread you want to make sure that this part's open. It's a lot easier to see what's going on inside your machine. Um, so right now I'm going to turn the wheel towards me so that the needle drops down. I'm just gently holding my thread here and you'll see the thread go in and around perhaps and now you can see it pick up the thread and I'm gently going to pull it up so that you can see that loop here and then I'm going to pull it very gently pull it out there we go so when you're getting ready to sew you want to make sure that this portion is clicked into your machine and you're going to want to make sure that your bottom and top thread are not crossing over and are towards the back of the machine. 
Um, you're gonna wanna take your fabric, in my case it's just paper, and you're gonna wanna put it underneath the presser foot and you can line it up with the grooves here. You're gonna wanna make sure that your presser foot is secured in the down position, otherwise you're going to hate yourself. <laughs> Okay, so when you're getting ready to sew, you also want to make sure that these three dials are on the settings that you want. So this dial is the tension setting. Uh, number four is the normal tension setting, so I'm going to keep it on there. If I wanted a bigger stitch, I would turn it up a number, and if I wanted a smaller stitch, I'd put it down. Um, this dial is the stitch length. I put it to three since I'm trying to demonstrate the stitches, uh, but yeah, I don't know what else to picture that. <laughs> Um, and the last one is the design pattern selector. So right now I'm just on a standard stitch and we're also going to be doing the zigzag. So now you are ready to sew. So you're going to gently place your hands on either side of the paper just to keep it uh, steady, but the machine should pull it through on its own. Um, and now I'm going to gently press on the pedal and it should start sewing. Okay, so now um, you want to lift the presser foot and gently remove your work and cut it free. So now we're going to do the zigzag stitch and again make sure your fingers are not too close to the needle because you don't, don't want to become part of your work. So I'm going to press the pedal down. and lift up the presser foot and gently pull it out and cut my thread. And one more type of stitch is this one. Okay, so when you're stitching actual fabric, you want to uh, finish off your stitch so you're gonna want to reverse stitch or tie it um, to reverse stitch you stitch with the machine and you're gonna just pull this lever down and it'll reverse your stitch you can't tell because there's paper in the way um, so yeah I'm gonna demonstrate that now your foot and oh my goodness and <laughs> release your work. Um, and what is going on? <laughs> it's like, it's having a party down there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f did you did <laughs> No. Nothing over each other. Mine are. And that they're at the back. Oh my god. I didn't say that. <laughs> Not our crossover, like completely. Damn it.